What up, though? Welcome to the What Up, though, show. I got a special guest tonight, man. Y'all get in here real quick, man. I got a special guest, man. What I'm talking about? I know y'all like that mask. Get that every day. Go to the old store, man. The link in the description box, man. You feel me? You see me styling out here. Get that every day thing going on, man. Because I'm about to get my every day on, man. I got a special guest for y'all, man. A DC legend. A DC legend. You feel me? I'm going to let a couple more eyes get in the house, man, before I ask you to introduce yourself, man. But if they read it, they already know who I'm speaking with. That's what they came to see. This is what y'all came to see? JT the Barber, what up, though? Okay, my people in the house. What you jacking TV cast, what up, though? They came to support the stream. I appreciate y'all. I got a special guest for y'all tonight, man. Let me take this mask off, man. Y'all don't even know I'm talking, huh? What up, though, Jake Money? Detroit Jake Money in the house, man. You already know how we do, folks. I need everybody to see this mask, though. I ain't taking my shit off yet. I was thirsty, but fuck that. Fuck that. I ain't taking my mask off till y'all see this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get it popped, right? What up, though? How y'all be, man? I got a special guest tonight, man. DC legend, man. Introduce yourself for the people, man. Rambo, Rambo, Washington, D.C., Northeast Washington, D.C., born and raised Washington, D.C., Northeast, Southeast, Northwest, Southwest, man. Born and raised, man, man, man. This the Black Claw, man. This is D.C., man. This shit right here is for D.C., man. This is who we are, man. Welcome to the Black Claw, man. What's good, homie? <clears throat> All right, man. You know, um, when we had our first conversation and shit, when we spoke the other day, I told you, man, at the end of the day, I like you, man. We had a good conversation, you feel me? We, I, I feel like we built it or whatnot. You can say that. We had a good build. I told you I helped you in any way I could and everything and shit, you know? Am I right or wrong? Right. You right. All right. Um, needless to say, you know what I'm saying? I do my research on everybody that comes on my show, man. And some shit came up in your jacket that I would like to give you the opportunity to speak on, dog. <clears throat> because, you know, from my moral standpoint as a man, the way it was given to me and then the way I saw it, it's two different things. So who better to get it from than you? You know what I mean? Talk to me, homie. All right. Who is uh, Willis Gooding? That's a faggot. Motherfucker, I shot. What's your association to him? Nothing at all, homie. Because, you know, we had a conversation, and I told you in the conversation, we talked about the fly gap me, dude. That's why I said what I said in the beginning, because I said at the end of the day, I like dude. Man, he's a good dude. I do whatever I can to help him in any way I can and shit. Thus, I stamp you when you come on my show. You feel right. me? Like, when you come here, you get stamped. Basically, right. that's right. how I look at it, because I ain't going to have nobody on my shit, even though you were stamped way before that. I ain't trying to say that about you, homie, because I ran you through a bunch of different directions, and they all came back stamped, but then I got some debris. Go ahead. And I said, okay, man, being the man that I am, my big homie Brian Blaze Gibbs said, if any nigga tell you he a legend, he got to tell you about the good, the bad, and the other. He said, if he just telling you all the good shit he did, and I'm this, and I did that, this, and that, and the other, then you got to look at that nigga, because everybody take a loss. Everybody got a secret. Everybody got a dark moment they don't want nobody to know about. And they said, this is yours. And I just wanted to right. see if you would share it with me right here. You know what I'm saying? Because we, this something we... You got wonderful stories. You told me a bunch of wonderful stories. I think the idea of the Black Claw is a great thing. But at the end of the day, you told me you wanted to help kids because you don't have any. I want to help these children. This Black Claw, this can help the children. You feel me? And I believe in that. This also will be able to help them because they'll see that a real man going to stand in what he do. You know what I'm saying? So talk to me about Willis Gooden, man. Because like I said, the way I, I want to give you a chance to talk to me about it because... 
the way I heard it, like I said, and then the way I saw it was two different things. So the only way I can get to, I guess, the root of it, because Mr. Gooden ain't here no more. Yeah. So, we, you know what I'm saying? We'll be to talk to you. Okay. that's the, I, did, I did time for Gooden. You Nick Will is Gooden. So, you know, this shit happened. Night about uh, 1988, man, and uh, end up getting found guilty on the motherfucker like 18, 1990, uh, 98, man. And uh, went to DC jail, got 10 years off of it, man. Got found guilty assault with a motherfucking dangerous weapon, man. So, uh, you know, ten years off assault with a dangerous weapon. Yeah, I got went to U Center one Lawton, big boy. You feel me? So you know, glad you did your homework, right? And I respect you did your homework, right? And I'm gonna stand on this. I'm glad you said that, right? Because you know, yeah. we for up the debate. I love this shit, right? You feel me? Yeah. You know, you know where this good motherfucker that gave me time. That's a motherfucker, man. The toll on me, bro. Okay. I'm going to read something to you. It says, in the early morning hours of uh, June 11th, 1988, Mr. Gooden, also known as Puffy. Puffy, Mimi, and Tracy, right? That's a yeah. transsexual. Yeah. Puffy, Mimi, and Tracy, right? Yeah. Okay. It says, uh, Mr. Gooden, also known as Puffy, began a trip to visit a friend to Lord and Correctional Facility where Mr. Gooden was dressed like a female. While Mr. Gooden waited at the bus stop on Benning Road, Northeast Washington, D.C., appellate Mr. Hawkins, that would be you, along with three other individuals, drove by in a blue convertible rental car. Gooden knew Hawkins from the neighborhood and asked him for a ride downtown to board a transfer to Lord. Gooden got in the back seat of the car. Hawkins, instead of driving downtown, drove to the corner of Phelps Vocational School, no one discussed why they were going to Phelps. Upon the arrival to the school, everyone got out of the car and Gooding and co-defendant, I ain't gonna say his name because he ain't got shit to do with this, proceeded down the stairwell, you can which led right to the school bill. Gooding and co-defendant, what could he, what code we, what you talking about? It says Gooding and co-defendant, what is it? Reeves, Reveals? Whoever the Reveals nigga is, proceed downstairs to the That's stairwell it. in the school building. Gooding right. then performed almost a, a, a sexual act on Reeves, which Gooding asked to get received ten dollars for. Gooding testified that he had performed the same sex act on both Hawkins and Reeves at least twice during the preceding year. No, 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 that's a fucking lie. Stop right there. You could did that. I, I never performed in no homosexual acts. I, reality, boy. I'm tell you this, man. I ain't going to lie on this. I keep it 100. I shot the motherfucker. Period. I shot him. Period. You feel me? We going to keep it 100. You got his story. That's what he went down there and told you, right? That's what he, he said. He ain't alive. He didn't tell me nothing. He tell me not you, not you, not you. Oh. That's what he said to the police, right? To get me locked up, right? Okay, I never performed no in any homosexual activity, first of all, man. Fuck what he say, period. I don't perform in homosexual activities, bro. Real shit, bro. You That's know? why I said we had a conversation you about know. the guy that ran you know. the jail. I, I mean, me. look, look, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, me and you had a conversation. Hit me out, bro. It, no, 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 you, no, 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 you hear me though. That's why I'm no, bringing this up because I wouldn't even I brought this up if we not had the conversation we had. Hmm? I wouldn't even brought this up not had we well, not had the conversation we had. Because, right. like I said, when we spoke, we spoke for three or four hours right before right. the Super Bowl. Right. right. And we spoke right. about Daphne, right. and I said, a nigga like that can't run my jail, not right. no rapist. Not no homosexual right. ain't gonna right. run my jail in Jackson, right. not in Detroit. And you agreed. Right. You was like, oh man, you know, everybody right. think DC on booty. Right, but DC no booty. I'm gonna clear that up. No, so when this thing never, like, oh, that's what I'm man. trying to tell you. Go ahead, go ahead. You 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 cut me off. Go ahead, go ahead. My when he came to me, I said, "Oh man, I gotta see if he'll stand on this because we can't go no further. If not, I'm glad you're willing to talk about it. You feel because right. I go ahead, man. Go ahead. 
Talk your shit. I'm saying, man, like I just told you, right? First of all, that's what he said in his paperwork, right? I never performed no homosexual activities on this motherfucker, period, bro. The boy got shot because found out he was a man. That's what the fuck happened. Ain't nobody performed no homosexual activities on him. Just keep it 100, bro. That's Did you know him did. from the neighborhood? Huh? Yeah. Did you know him around, from the neighborhood? Huh? He grew up around. Did you in know the him from the neighborhood? He grew up around in the neighborhood. You feel me? So first of all, I never picked him up. Nobody in the car. Nobody never picked him up. First of all, so it was four up. We it was four. We had four, it was four of us on the case. First of all, bro. You, I ain't get to read it all. You told me to stop. Okay. Like, I, it's, a, it's, no, a, it's no. a lot more to be read, but you told me to hold on. So, so I held hit me off. Out. Hit me out. You know, no, no, I'm going to let you keep going. But what I'm telling you, let's stop right there. You hear him, but I'm telling you, no, not me. Nobody, not me, me, perform homosexual activities on that boy. Say that again. I said, me didn't perform no homosexual activity, none of that shit on him. I didn't do shit. I shot the nigga. The nigga said he did it to you on two different occasions. You and the never, nigga that was down never, there on two never. different occasions. He never did shit to me. I shot the nigga, bro. I went okay, to jail now let's for talk that about shit. that. Let's talk about that. Let's I did go. this. You say you saying you, you shot the nigga, right? I, I, right. I, I shot him. Right, but you saying okay. I what what you saying that I I mean what he's saying like you know a motherfucker done you know fuck that you know done some sucker shit I don't do that bro I ain't okay, never man, fuck is. with a man go it says as Gooding approached the top of the steps as Gooding approached the top of the steps Hawkins asked him to perform the same sex act on him. Gooding refused because he was concerned about missing the bus to Lorden Correctional Facility. Hawkins then asked Reeve, Rebels, whoever he is, for a gun, took it and pointed it at Gooding and shot it, but it jammed. He shot it again and shot him in the nose, causing serious damage. So this right here, that's why I said we had to talk about this, because this shit make it seem like that was some sexual deviant shit. Like the motherfucker said that he wouldn't give you no head, or the tranny said they wouldn't give you no head, and you shot him because of that shit. That's what his statement is saying right here. I'm reading his statement like you said, but this is the shit in a appellate court. This is all part of public record. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And you would and you saying you saying that you did time for this. Right, right. So you didn't plead, they convicted you. You didn't take a cop, you didn't plead or nothing like that. They convicted nah. you. Because I know if you get convicted and you don't take a cop, when you go up for the parole board, you got to take responsibility for what you did. No, you, you know don't what I'm saying? Got, no, you ain't got to take responsibility. You do that in D.C. when you see the parole board, you know, if you don't take responsibility down here, if you don't at least say, admit your guilt, then they're going to strike your ass and you'll be doing a 20 more, 24 month clock. Now, they don't do it that way, chat. Down here. Okay. Go ahead, chat. Okay. Keep reading, boy. You looking good, man. You looking no, good. It ain't, you looking it ain't about good. that. It it ain't ain't about it. Go ahead. Say Hawkins and three companions jumped into the rental car, uh, uh, which was parked a few feet away from the steps. Gooding leaned over toward the steps, but Hawkins drove away. Gooding then proceeded to walk away behind the school where other persons came to assist them. Investigating police, Metro police officers led to the arrest of Hawkins and Reeves. And it said that as you was leaving, Mr. Gooding was saying, why you do that to me, you? Basically, yo name, why you do that to me? You white, <laughs> yeah, you me, yeah, shot the motherfucking shit out of them and kicked them down the steps. How y'all get to the school all, though? You, how did she get from Benning Road? How did she get from Benning Road to the school? Think about it, think about it. No, think you told it. me y'all, y'all, hold on, was y'all in the convertible? Was y'all in the blue convertible? Laverne, big boy. Was y'all in a blue convertible? Yep. Y'all was? Yep. And none of y'all picked her up? Who? Not me. Okay, but you were supposed to have been the driver. You wasn't the driver? Huh? 
You wasn't driving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you didn't yeah. pick her up. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Yeah. That was the paperwork say. Yo, I'm li I'm going with the paperwork say. So I mean, what else you say? What do you want to know? What I want to know is point. what is the well, whole my point? whole point is we discussed that homosexuality shit, and I told right. you that's something I don't stand on. We discussed rape, right. and I told you right. that's something I don't stand on. And right. from what I'm reading right here, hold on. Let, you ask me what I what's my whole point? I'm telling you. Right, right, right. From what that's I'm what reading right here, this shit make you seem like a sexual predator toward men, don't it? Sexual predator towards men. Listen, what that means is the, the transsexual refused you sex and because the transsexual refused to do the same thing that they had just did with another person because they didn't want to miss the bus to Lorton, you wound up shooting them in the face. Now you told me you shot him in the face because you found out it was a boy just a little while right. ago. Right, right. That's But then you told me you knew the motherfucker from the neighborhood and grew up with him. Everybody knew me. Right. You Guess what? And guess what, <laughs> bro? And guess what? At the end of the day, I ain't fuck that boy. I ain't touch that boy. You feel me? You hear me, young? You hear me? I hear you, man. I shot the motherfucker. Whatever, whatever went on, that's why I came on here because I told you do your homework. You feel me? And I'm glad you, you know, you shot. You know, I'm glad it's you. You shot like that. You feel me? No, we couldn't. Ain't, ain't no it, shoot. This it, what I'm it saying. Is, it's certain it, shit that I'm I stand on. You, Cause I love it. It's certain shit that I stand on, homeboy. I love this shit, bro. No I ain't shit, never bro. in no my rape. life fuck no homosexual. You feel me? I don't do that. If you a homosexual, do you can shit. be that. I don't care about that. That ain't my business. Do whatever you right. want to do behind closed doors. Right. But rape, right. sexual predators. Motherfucking right. women and children, right. that's niggas I don't fuck with. I, and I had to make sure. I, I ain't I never been none of them. Up. I killed them all, bro. I don't be no fuck. I don't be no, no faggots. I don't fuck with no faggots. That's why I shot them. Purr. Purr, shawty. Who's I Ray shot Ray? him. Purr. Who's Ray Ray? Huh? Who's Ray Ray? Who's Ray Ray? Who was that? Who was Ray? You tell me it's Ray Ray. Did somebody try to attack you in court? In court? Yeah, did somebody try to attack you in court and get put out? Never that, y'all. Wrong man. Puffy brother didn't try to attack you in court? Fuck no. I don't okay. know who the fuck that is, bro. <laughs> you probably don't. That's Puffy brother, though. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't never been attacked in court, bro. I don't know. I'm you saying weren't attacked. attacked. They wouldn't let him get to you, but did he try? Did somebody try? Was there an outburst being in court? During Never. that trap? Hell, hell no. Nah. <laughs> hell no, nah, man. I love this shit. That's why I came to That's why I like you, man. That's why I came at you, man. Finish going on me, man. I love this shit, man. See, you said I'm going on you. I'm not going on you. You is going I'm not on going. I'm giving you a chance to stand yeah, in this shit. Like I said, the only, the only way we can move this shit. And I'm staying doing this shit, right? Because, you know, like I'm trying to tell you, like I'll take you. Wherever you but dig this here, wherever you went, a nigga would have found this shit out, though. You don't think unless a nigga just thirsty for an interview, a nigga gonna do his research to see who the fuck he right. is. And I, and I told you, you do his research. Your, your research. You and cause I told you, like I told you, I shot a faggy. I told you that shit. I told you I really shot a faggy to grab my fucking dick. How did no, no, Puffy no, get all, from Benning Road to the school? You say you kicked them down the steps, so that means y'all was at the school. How did Puffy get from the Benning Road bus stop to the school then? Bruh, that's what she, that what he testified and said, bruh. You feel me? That nigga ain't get shot. That's, I'm agreeing with you with the, what they said in court, bruh. This was where I was trapped. You the just told me you kicked them down the steps. You said and kicked them down the steps. So that means you this was at the school, saying. right? This what I'm saying. This what I'm saying, bro. This what I'm saying. This what I'm saying to you again. This what I'm saying. I'm agreeing to everything you are saying, what the work was saying in court. What he said to bring me up and try, you know, for charge. You feel me? And what I'm telling you, right? 
And I'm going to tell you again. I never fuck with a man. I don't perform at homosexual. T- I, I mean, shit, per. When he came from up the steps, did the fuck he wanted to do. You feel me? You touch me and ask me, is I'm next? No, shot him, kicked him down the goddamn step. That's it, bro. I don't fuck with no men, nigga. That shit dead, bro. I ain't One never. One of the niggas no around man. you was then. That's what you saying? What? One of the niggas around you was then. Right? Yeah, he did, man. So what you want to say? He did. He did now. Something had no. Excuse me. No, you want to know the whole truth? He did. I mean, you did time for it. Ain't no double jeopardy. No, no, you want to you know? I mean, you, you want to know? You, I mean, I mean, you, 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 you digging? So is the nigga who he he did it with? He did, nigga. What's okay. the next one, bro? That's what made it kick it off. Finding out he's a faggy. Both of them. So go. That's what made what kick it off. I mean, finding out that, you know, the man, I mean, because in the neighborhood, you know, he was a fucking, a, a fucking goddamn woman. Ain't nobody <laughs> know he was a man to a nigga, man, you know, I shot him. Because I feel though I knew. Man, he, you told he, me he you knew him from, from the neighborhood, man. If you knew him from the neighborhood in the younger days, everybody knew the neighborhood. Tracy was like that. According to y'all, right? You all see them made. niggas faggies, bro. I shot so him. So you bro. didn't know it was a man then. I'm, that's what I don't understand. If you I knew the fuck he was. Younger. I knew the fuck he was. I knew. I knew the fuck he was. I got. I, I, I got motherfuckers. My homie around me. I got to find out. I, I let him go on, bro. I ain't going to speak on his dick, what he did. Why That's nigga why. Weaver say that you the one that said, I know somebody named Puffy, and then y'all pick Puffy at a... Weaver said, this Weaver, this is a different motherfucker. This ain't good. This Weaver. Weaver what? said that you said that I know somebody named Puffy, That's and one. that y'all pick Puffy up later on. That's the one testified against me, bro. That's who told on the case. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. We were also said that after you shot Gooding, Gooding was uh, stood up while you was pulling away and said, Lavelle, why you do that to me? Lavelle, why you do that to me? Yeah, yeah, I shot him. So you didn't know the motherfucker, how they know your name was Lavelle? Who? Fuck he said, the motherfucker I, said, Gooding stood up. Gooding is Puffy. Puffy stood up and said, LaBelle, why you do that to me? I you shot him in the face, right? I mean, I don't know what the That's what's not is. adding up. You, you know him. You're trying you to make it seem like him. if you know him, you're no, not guilty by association. You, you, you didn't do nothing with him. You didn't do nothing with him. But it's certain shit that's, that's not adding bro, up, champ. Like I say, bro, let me say something to you, bro. Let me say something to you, bro. You know, I ain't going to let you. I mean, you know, we, you know. It's all good, man, because I ain't going to never you know, disrespect my manhood, bro. You feel me? All that shit about, you know, you keep listening. I mean, I'm glad you got in the black and white because that's what Puffy got on the stand and said, bro. You know, you know I mean? Yeah. You know, that's what you going to stand <laughs> on, you know. Cool. You know, I'm a, I mean, I got to, you know, I'm going to live and die with it, bro. This is me. That paperwork you talking about is me. I'm going to live and die with it. I'm not going to run with it, bro, away from it, bro. You hear me? That fag shit, you. that homosexual shit, I don't play that shit, bro. You feel me? I hear you. That's why we had to speak on it. Like I said, I told bro, you I don't play that bro. shit. I told you that's bro, something I don't play. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. And then you, now we right here now, and I'm telling you now, right? Yeah. You, know, you say what you said. We don't know. You got the shit black and white, real raw shit, right? That's yeah. what Puffy said. This is your appellate and I told shit. You, this your, this your appeal. This your appeal. This kill me. This will this will hit me out. You feel me? This your appeal, though. Just so you know. 
That's what Puffy said to get me convicted in court. Puffy ain't say he sucked my dick, did he? Did yes. Puffy say? Yes. Oh, excuse, me. excuse me, Puff. No, he did. He never said he done homosexual acts on me, bro. You want me to read it again? Yeah, yeah. Let me read it. Okay. Read it again. Read it again. Let me scroll back. Let me scroll read back a minute. Again. Read it again. Listen, listen to hear me out. In the early morning of Saturday, let me let me put my weed out, man. Hurry up. Saturday, man. June 11th, 1988, Mr. Willis Gooding, also known as Puffy, began a trip to visit a friend at Lorden Correctional Facility. Mr. Gooding was dressed as a female. While Gooding waited at a bus stop on Benning Road, Northeast Washington, D.C., appellate Hawkins, which would be you, along, along with three other individuals, drove by in a blue convertible rental car. Gooding, who knew Hawkins from the neighborhood, asked to ride downtown to board a transfer bus to Lord. Gooding got in the back seat. Hawkins, instead of driving downtown, drove around the corner to Phelps Vocational School. No one discussed why they were going to Phelps. Upon arrival at the school, everyone got out of the car. Gooding and co-defendant Reevils proceeded to go down the stairwell that led to one of the school buildings. Gooding then performed a sex act on Reevils, which Gooding asked to receive $10 in return for. Gooding testified that he had performed this sex act no, he with did. That's a lot. That's Hawkins a lot. and no, Reeves no, no. at least twice no, in did. the preceding year. That's a lie, bro. That's a lie. 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 Okay. You got the wrong paperwork. The wrong paperwork? Yeah. He never said that? That's what you're saying? What? You said he never saying that he did nothing to you? That's what you mean? We're, Weaver never testified and said I did anything. That's not Weaver. That is good. We, you no, said Weaver never Weaver. testified that and said he did said, anything. You said Weaver. You said Gooding went down there with Weaver, whatever, whatever. You hear me? Listen, yeah. listen, he go Weaver. Say Weaver. Weaver had testified to the grand jury prior to Hawkins' indictment, along with testimony and trial corresponding with his grand jury testimony in some respects. His response to certain questions he gave in the indictment differed sharply from previous. That's Weaver right there, right? Right, right. Okay. I mean, Weaver testified at trial that he, along with Hawkins, co-defendant James Eric Reeves and Perry Eden, Eden, had been riding around in a rental car all night. Weaver then stated that he knew somebody named Puffy and then stated the first name saw them following. Hold on. Weaver then <laughs> stated that he knew someone named Puffy, right? And that the first time he saw him was the following morning when he was behind Phelps Vocational School. You see what I'm saying? So what, what am I saying? What, what you mean, Weaver never? They had to treat him as a hostile witness, did they not? <laughs> you got it in the paperwork, right? <laughs> that you, that's what you said? First you said I got the black and white, then you tell me the black and white ain't right. Now you telling me you got the wrong paperwork. You got it in black and white because he testified. That, I mean, they be told that what he testified to. You feel me? They make it. You know, he testified to that. That what Puffy said. That what fuck. No, this is what Weaver said. Weaver said. Weaver ain't say. Weaver I'm then stated me. that we I drove into you. the driveway of Phelps School and saw Puffy yeah. there. <laughs> That's what he's saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And what he did, so that's where Puffy say? was at at Weaver. Let go ahead. What else did Weaver say? <laughs> <laughs> see, see, see. Go so ahead, he had enough, dog. <laughs> go ahead, you silly motherfucker. Come on. Keep going. Some man had enough, dog. That's what I'm saying, man. So who knew? Weaver was the one that was fucking with Puffy? Who? Go, no, go on. You know, what Weaver else I'm Weaver asking say? you, who was fucking with Puffy? Who? Who the fuck wasn't the veil? <laughs> See that crazy? Yeah. See that's what I'm saying though. But but at the same token, at the same the reason I'm reading this though on some real nigga shit between me and you is because that man ain't here to speak for himself. I couldn't even if I wanted to, I couldn't call Gooding because he passed away shortly after that shit. The motherfucker died. 
right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So the only story to be told is always in the paperwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in the paper. That was in the that was said in the court of law. <laughs> that was <laughs> that, yeah, that was good. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, homie. <laughs> no, this, big is you. Tell me what happened from your standpoint, homie. That's that's what I want to know. What happened from your standpoint, man? Hey, like, I ain't no double jeopardy. You I feel me? Like, you just hey, see stood on it. You just did. How much time did you do on this? I can't beat you, man. Hey, Phil, I can't beat you, Jack. I so you trying you, to get you to beat me. I'm trying to understand, man. Yeah. You said yeah. you wanted to save the kids. Yeah, I will always say that's that. what you said to me. So if I present you to the kids, I gotta present not, a good man at least to the kids. So help me understand is what I'm yeah, asking. I'm not trying yeah. to come at you no sideways or nothing yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, no, the, no, but this no, something no. that DC say all the time. Man yeah. recognize man. Ain't that right. some DC shit? Yeah. Man recognize man. man As a man, I got man. morals yeah, and standards and shit that I stand on. That's where I'm coming from. That's why this whole shit came up. Y'all motherfuckers, motherfuckers talk shit about me for fucking with Alpo and certain individuals that may have told. Them niggas ain't tell on me. I don't give a fuck what they did to another motherfucker. That's my attitude toward them. But some motherfuckers frown on me for that. But I frown on motherfuckers that a stamp a motherfucker that's a sexual predator. You dig what I'm saying? Or a rapist or <laughs> like like this. When I asked about Gaffney, a nigga gave me some shit talking about nigga fly this, fly that. He a real nigga. You don't know nothing about that slim. Man, this nigga got charged with five rapes. How you stamping a rapist? I don't know. A rapist can't sit next to me in the joint. Period. This real nigga shit, man to man. He better not sit next to me, nigga. We taking this fool here. You know what I'm saying? So, so the contrast in that going from where I'm at to you know DC being as guarded as they is and having the reputation they have, and letting him run the jail. Me and you had the same conversation, didn't we? I mean, you laughing, but then we had the same conversation in private. Yeah. <laughs> hey, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I love this shit. Hey, 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 I love this shit. That's why I got over here, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I knew you was the police. You the police. <laughs> Ah, you dumb motherfucker. The police. This whole city know what you say. That was the police, the nigga. Shit. We know you the police. The police, nigga. The, yeah, I you ain't got to read the police to read the motherfucking internet, dumb nigga. What the fuck <laughs> was you talking about, nigga? Who the police, <laughs> nigga? What you, was you talking about, nigga? You ain't got to be that smart <laughs> to read Justin to do you. Yeah, That's your case, yeah, nigga. That's your appellate case, shit. ho. So, I so how you, what, what is you really saying, dog? <laughs> I love it. You like know? I said, nigga, you come on, you come on me talking about you want to reach the children. I ain't got no yeah, kids. I want to reach the kids. How do I present bro. you to the kids? You can't even stand on what you did. Oh, I stand on what I did. All you can say is I shot the motherfucker. Yeah. But how you wind up with the motherfucker yeah. though? <laughs> but you try to make me tell what happened, right? <laughs> You said, hold on, hold on. I ain't trying to make you tell nothing. But what you said in the beginning of this shit was, you want me to tell you what went down there for you? You all know I what got happened. The nephew. I got the green to the paperwork. <laughs> so, how in the police? <laughs> Bro, I got the green to the paperwork, nephew. You, you ain't got my file. You got my whole file on me. <laughs> Go ahead, nephew. Go ahead. Go ahead, nephew. Go ahead. Tell me what else would help you on the paperwork. <laughs> I knew you the police. <laughs> let me ask you something, man. Nah, nigga, I'm you the, the police. police. All right, I'll be there. But let me ask you this, though. Let me ask you this. Yeah. You, you, you write your book. Your book is called The Black Claw. Yeah. You write your book. You don't think people going to find this out? Man, they, it's already... You don't think cool. someone would have brought this out into it's the public already, into your attention? That's the same. That's the main reason I did you on these boy. It's already known what happened all over the world about that boy. In D.C. All over the world, I mean, not in world, but I'm going to say in Washington, D.C., boy. Lawton. All over the federal system, motherfucker. They know, I mean, you know, keep shooting. <laughs> Fucking police. <laughs> Go ahead at me, Pope. 
You the police, man. <laughs> you get <laughs> So I'm the police? Yeah. Yeah. I'm the police? Yeah. yeah. Nigga, if I'm, I'm the police, right? You the police, but you sit there Say it again for me. Say it again yeah. for me, man. Go ahead. You the police. <laughs> All right. I'm the police, nigga, but you done told me who did what the who and how this happened, where and exactly who was doing what. But I'm the I'm the police though, nigga. Yeah. So you're not a very good judge of character then, are you? If I'm a motherfucking cop, you're not a very good judge of character. Cause you done told me who did what the who and why the fuck and nigga, I took notes on all that shit. Yeah. You feel me? So what the fuck is you talking about, yeah. my man? Yeah. <laughs> what are you yeah, talking about, my yeah. man? Yeah, that's in the black claw, nigga. All them niggas dead, nigga. Man, cut it out, blood. Cut it out, blood. Mom the police. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll take that. Hey, I'll baby, take that. You thought you were going to have some good shit, right? <laughs> I'll take that. You dumb motherfucker. I'm with you on this, you stupid nigga. <laughs> I think he hung up, man. He might have hung up, man. I lost the signal for a minute and shit. He ain't in there no more. He ain't in there no more, man. What y'all think about that, man? How I'm supposed to present that nigga to the world, man? He can't even stand on what he did, though. That's real nigga shit though, but I'm I'm the police for reading the internet for doing the research on the nigga that want me to tell the world that he want to help my kid. You want me to present you to my fucking kid, my children? <laughs> Cut it out, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I'm, let me read some of these comments, man. Say that dude is a damn fool. I can't believe he wrote a book shaking my head. Dig that there. Oh, your volume off. Okay, I hear you now. That's what's up, man. Shit crazy, dog. That's all I'm saying, man. What y'all think about that, man? I'm skipping to the end, man. I can't go back to all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start from here, man. Dig this here, man. I'm going to stay a little while longer, dog. You say, okay, I hear you. Okay, T2707. Okay, this cat is lying. David Watkins. Not even a book of mach what, what not even a book of matches. That's what my man say. Joe Torres say he's gay, gay, gay. Oh man, they ain't gonna let me get <laughs> No, that's crazy though, man. That's crazy as hell though, man. Um he didn't write a book, he paid a ghostwriter to do it. He wasn't even to try to admit that he's a booty bandit. He wasn't even trying to admit <laughs> that's crazy, man. That's crazy. Uh Mr. Smooth 152 said waste the time on him. Uh Detroit J Money say this nigga a clown. Let me 
Say this nigga a clown, hot man, dog. This the killing part with me, though. You feel me? This the killing part with me, though. Like I say, man, the good and do, I don't even care about the gay part of it. That's not what I'm on. The part that it was on, the part that, that fucked with me was the predatory part of it. Like when the dude said that shit, that he said no to the nigga and then the nigga shot him for that, like, damn, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then he told me he was coming on the air to clear up the fact that DC ain't on butt. DC ain't on butt. Everybody talking about DC on butt. That ain't what's up and this and that and the other. You feel me? But that was before I had did my research because people stamped him. You feel me? I sent out motherfucking the word and people stamped him from different directions and this and that and the other. You feel me? And I, like I said, man, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga can't stand on that, then we can't go no further. And he got wonderful stories. I ain't even gonna front, man. The nigga told me some mean shit. That's why I say he's not a very good judge of character. And if you're watching, homeboy, pop back in. You got the link. Pop back in. I'll put you back on. He's not a very good judge of character if I'm the police like he called me. That shit crazy, nigga. <laughs> that shit crazy, dog. Now, you, you win a Pulitzer Prize, nigga, and you standing in front of millions because your book was that damn good. You don't think one motherfucker was going to think to look into who the fuck they looking at, putting on stage in front of millions of people or whatever, nigga? Cut it out, dog. Let's see some more what the comments say, man. Where did I leave off at? This nigga clown, um, he was definitely on, what's that, FIFA? Good riddance, no pro productivity, okay. Say, yo, yo, had me laughing my ass off, big that, man. Swore the Lord said he played himself. T2707 says, smut butt lover. He feels shame. <laughs> now, that shit's stupid right there, nigga. Got you no get back. I can't read that again, man. I be, oh, man, y'all see it. That's crazy, man. Pause, man. Got you no know, get back. Can't have everyone on your platform. Some of these people are immature and deserve to stay in the shadows. That's a good comment, man. That's a good comment. But dig this here. Let me say this. The reason I went through, I contemplated canceling the interview. I talked to my wife about it. I reached out to a few people, even at Stamp. Like, man, did you know about this? Talk to me about this. And they can only say minimal shit. Some of them, it jogged their memory. Like, shit, damn, man, I forgot all about that. This and that and the other blinds, they split. You feel me? But I had already set the interview. It was set up right here. It was, I, I had promoted it on Instagram. So I said, you know what? Because I don't stand with that type of shit. You feel me? Like I said, whatever you do behind closed doors is behind closed doors. It was the predatory shit that I read that fucked with me. You feel me? And then the fact that we had a conversation prior to that, that's why I kept saying to him, during this interview, we spoke about this shit in private. You know where I stand that with all of this shit that I'm bringing to the floor out here right now, why you trying to say I like how you shooting at me? You feel me? Because I gave you a chance to stand on it then. And I didn't even know about it. So when I found out about it, it was like, oh shit, homie, I can't move forward in the interview unless we talk about this. You know what I'm saying? That's all, nigga. My man say crash dummy. He say son chasing 10, man, instead of Dorothy. <laughs> Here y'all go, man. Here y'all go, man. And we supposed to believe that clown knows anything about Poe and Frank. But yeah, though, I ain't going to even front. He does. That's the killing part about it. He does, man. Like I say, he got some dog. He was stamped because he really was there. He really did shit. He really does know. Man, he know Shorty Pop. He know Alpo. He know all these individuals. He was stamped from 
a bunch of different directions as being in the mix. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can say about that, dog. That's all I can say about that, dog. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I, I do my research. Like I said, I got sources I reach out to that's in the mix. You know what I'm saying? And you feel me? It just is what it is, man. Like I say, I decided to go through with it because I said I was going to give him a chance to stand on it, man. You know? See what's happening. Savvy J215 say, oh, that was crazy how that clown betrayed himself. Dig that there, man. Sandra Brown say, he had to hang up. He was on no match. He was no match for the O. <laughs> Dig that that, man. Dig that there, man. Like I told him, it wasn't even about that. You feel me? Ms. Willingham said he was not ready for you, bro. No, he wasn't, though. You know what I'm saying? Because, Dig, I gave him a chance to stand on all that shit. We spoke in private, man. I told him I don't fuck with this, that, and the other nigga, that shit, nigga can't do this, da, 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 da. and he stood with me in what I was saying, so I felt like, okay, I could dig that, and I told him I would help him in any way I could. He said he was trying to get a channel together. I told him I'd help him with that. I promote it, even. You know what I'm saying? I'm that type of nigga. I ain't gonna, you, you feel me? He wasn't that tech savvy and this and that and the other year old head. So, I, nigga, I help you. Blah, 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 blah. And then shit, at the end of the day, when I find out what I found out, I say, okay, well, the only way we can rectify the situation is for you to help me understand what happened. And all he could do is laugh and, and call me a cop and, and say, you got it in black and white. First is right, then it ain't. Then it's, it's paint. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Shit crazy. He stamped where? He stamped where? He stamped in D.C. If you knew what I know, bro. Yeah, he stamped in D.C. Sword Lord said, definitely don't have the mentality to be helping the children. And see, that's what, Brett, like I said, man, dig this here. I'm going to take you deeper into that. I'm going to take you deeper into that. He started reaching out to me after Sean Branch, like I told y'all, like that, that James McCrary shit that came along. Uh, everybody started reaching out to me after Sean Branch did that shit. You feel me? But I got flooded so much to where you got to sift through the bullshit and, and figure out who telling the truth who ain't. I answer everybody, though, and I answer them. So a motherfucker reached out to me recently that shall remain nameless and stamped. Like, man, he's been trying to reach out to you, but you did not acknowledge him. You didn't just da da da. And I told him, man, that's bullshit. I holler at everybody. Everybody that emailed me, get a response. You know what I'm saying? If it's business or if it's on that tip, you're going to get a response. You feel me? Motherfucker just emailed me and say hi. Then that shit just going to sit there. But you feel me, though? He was on that tip. I know Poe. I know this. I was there. I did that. The nigga told me he was the one that told Shorty Pop that Wayne Perry needed a bail. You dig what I'm saying? So when my man stamped him and shit, I reach out to him like, all right, shit, let's see what's up. You done been stamped the right way. Then I reach out to a few other motherfuckers and they stamp him too. Like I say, dog, shit ain't always what it seems. You know what I mean? Because I'm not thirsty for the interview. I got motherfuckers I want to interview. I got a real positive interview, hopefully coming out of, out of Washington, D.C. Uh, what's this? What's this? This, 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 this. Black History Month, probably sometime this month. This is actually the month I want to do it in because it's Black History Month and we're supposed to be celebrating black excellence, man. It's a positive, real positive story out of D.C. that I want to do, man. And I'm going to be contacting him soon. You know what I mean? <clears throat> He's not no street legend. Not in the city. Marco Montana. Marco Montana say he not no street legend. Not in this city. Okay. I can dig that. Is Kurt Bone a street legend? He associated with Kurt Bone too. According to my sources, you know what I'm saying? According to him, you feel me? You heard say laughing my ass off. What's up, old young town, Ohio in the building? What up, though, family? How you be? 
I think he mad at you. He might be. He might be. What was the Alpo Wayne and Frey stuff? What was the Alpo Wayne and Frey stuff? He had a lot to say about Alpo Wayne and Frey, man. Um, um, that shit all supposed to be in his book, man, the, the Black Clock. You feel me? Let me see. What did he say, man? Let me look at my notes real quick. He's, let me see something he said about Alpo. What'd you say? what he say about Alpo Wayne and Frey? <clears throat> I I I tell you something. The nigga said the reason motherfuckers say Frey didn't send a hit at Poe. Frey didn't send a hit at Poe. He said he did. He said that shit in his book. He said the reason he sent the hit at Poe was because of Rich though. Richard Porter. Now that's a jewel for your ass right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I say, the nigga. The nigga knows shit because he hit nails on the head with certain shit that I know. You dig what I'm saying? So <clears throat> in that, he connect dots. He did. You feel me? Like I said, I had a long conversation with him Super Bowl Sunday, man. And I didn't expect for it to be that long, but it was that long because of the, like I said, the nigga got names. He named names in the whole nine and shit. You feel me? <clears throat> the shit got crazy, dog. Yeah, that's crazy that that's him. Let me go down to the bottom, man. Let me go down to the bottom, man. Okay, there you go. No, you was right for clearing the air, though. Word. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Word up, dog. A nigga, I mean, shit, nigga, you got to stand. If you did time for it, you might as well stand on it, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, this needed to be told because he doesn't represent DC. Dig that there, man. Uh, David Watkins said your 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 research is all facts. Dig. That's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though, and that's what I heard as well. You know what I'm saying? So how am I supposed to present this nigga? With, nah, in the back of your mind, if you me, you gotta think. This man told me I don't have no children. But I want to help the kids. I want to present this book to them and show them different shit in different ways to help them. So I got children. If I wasn't here to teach my children, would I want him standing in front of them doing? It? That's what you have to judge. You did what I'm saying, man. Shit, dog. Like I told you, from a different style, I got a morals and compass that I stand on myself. So shit. On that note, we got to clear the air, homeboy. We can't move further. You say, then why Montana don't know him? I can't tell you why Marco Montana don't know him. Shit, Marco Montana don't know a lot of niggas, I'm sure. Shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that ain't a knock. I'm just saying, shit. You know, I don't know why he don't know him. But I do know he stamped, dog. He stamped, dog. You feel me? He stamped. Now, I'm going to tell you like this. He stamped by a lot of, by a nigga, a lot of you DC niggas told me was stamped. How about that? Now, you do your own math. He stamped by a lot of, by a DC nigga, a lot of you DC niggas told me what stamped in the comments. So, so, so don't tell me he not stamped. Marco Montana, that includes you, nigga. He stamped by a nigga you told me was stamped. So don't tell me he not stamped in DC. That's all I'm saying, homeboy. That's why I did my research and that's why I got back what I got back. You feel me? That's just the way that go, dog. And I ain't trying to be hard. I ain't yelling at my bad. I just, you know, I, I get emotional sometimes, dog. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted you to feel me. You got to feel me, though. Y'all keep telling me he ain't from D.C. He don't do this and that and the other. Nigga, he stamped by a nigga that you niggas from D.C. told me was stamped. And that includes Marco Montana. So now, what we got to say now, fellas? He hit that pipe before that interview. <laughs> Nigga say he hit that pipe before that interview, man. Oh, 
Oh, call it like you see it. I'm, I'm trying to, dog. I'm just trying to get y'all to feel me. Like I said, I wasn't trying to yell at nobody, cuss nobody, I fuss at nobody, or nothing like that by my previous statement. I just want you to feel me, though. You know what I'm saying? Janelle Stepp said he is stamped in D.C. Tell him. That's what I'm saying. Tell him. <laughs> he is stamped in D.C. I'm going to leave that up there, man. Birdie Baby say, baby, it was your face for me. All serious, no play. But dig this here. How can't, I mean, why play with the situation? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why play with that situation? You know what I mean? Real talk, though. I feel you. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate you watching and coming out. You talking about the dope fiend, the claw from Nikki Barnes, and also a lot of books. He said he was writing a book called The Claw. That was the name of his book. And he said that it, it was basically ethics, principles, and morals that a man could stand on and teach his children. Like he said, he wanted to help kids out here that's out here going through shit and doing this, this and that and the other, you know, shooting shit up and blah, that's plea, whoop, whoop. So no, he, he said that's his book. You know, he ain't talking about another book from nobody else. I dig that. I dig that. Yeah, he knew Rayful too. Yes, he knew Rayful too. Yes, he did. He's supposed to have been there when Poe came to D.C. Like I said, he, he has some very, very, very telling and interesting stories. That's why when he sat there and said, I'm the police, I said, well, you're a dumbass nigga then. You got to be a better judge of character, nigga, because you didn't name names to me, nigga. Names, places, fucking everything, nigga. So cut it out, homeboy, with the bullshit, nigga. You just didn't think that that information would come past my desk, nigga. But the Megalodon is surfing in this blood in the water, nigga. <laughs> Straight up. And his character showed me. His character started to show me, all right, you know what I'm saying? A real nigga would have stood in my face and told me, you got me fucked up, nigga. Serious face, no laugh, no joking, no playing, no crying, no knocking the camera down, all that extra shit. You got me fucked up, nigga. I ain't never did nothing with a man, nigga. I shot that nigga because of da 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 That shit became a joke and a game to him. You know what I'm saying? And, and that ain't no playful, jokeful shit. Like I said, if you're a homosexual, that's cool. What you do is what you do behind your closed doors. That ain't got shit to do with me. But it was the predatory shit that fucked with me. You know what I'm saying? The predatory shit is what was like, ah, oh, that's what's shocking. Like, damn, nigga, you actually shot him because he told you he wouldn't do that to you? Because he wanted to get the Lord and that's what he wanted to do in the first, or she, he or she, or the transsexual, whatever y'all want to call it, Puffy. Well, that's what Puffy wanted to do. Puffy wanted to get to Lord by the Lord by his statement or their statement. And Puffy's not here to speak for itself. You feel me? Shit, that's the best I can say that, y'all. You feel me? Janelle Stepp said he won't tell a lot of shit because that's not, not how he roll. I'm surprised he talked to you. She, I've heard he was reaching out to a couple people. You know what I'm saying? I heard he was reaching out to a, a few people. I heard he reached out to Unique Mecca Audio, uh, a, a, a few different other platforms. Like I said, he was stamped by an individual that a lot of people told me was stamped anyway, that I knew was stamped, but a lot of people that was trying to say he wasn't stamped by was stamped. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, he must have been in the mix. You feel me? And you know, he, like you said before, Miss Step, shit, he is stamped in D.C. He is from D.C., shit. But, like in your statement, you said he's not going to tell a lot of shit because that's not how he rolled. According to him, a lot of shit is in that book. A lot of people, 
Like I said, man, who is, if you from D.C., you know, who is Tony O and Jerry? Tony O and Jerry, who they connected to? Frey? Now, y'all know what they did and who they did that for. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But what would I possibly know about them and what they do and what they possibly could have been doing and who they possibly could have been doing it to? Wrap that around your mind. Uh, but what I said again, Tony O and Jerry, y'all know who they belong to and y'all know what they did for who they did it for. You feel me? So what could I possibly know about them and what they have done to who they have done it to on behalf of who? How could I possibly know that Rayful was coming at them because of Rich? That was the main reason that Rayful, according to this nigga, that was the main reason that Rayful was going at Alpo was because of Richard Porter. Now, you wrap that around your mind. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. You trying to be relevant? That could be. Come on, guys. There's a lot of people that were stamped but took a downward spiral. Word. Word is bond. He told me he spent a lot of time in jail. He said he don't know Perry from the streets. He knows him from jail. Therefore, he was the one that placed the call to Shorty Pop and told Pop that he couldn't get out on bail. That was something a lot of people was disputing as well. What happened with that? He said, according to him, I placed the call to Shorty Pop. He said, that's all supposed to be in his book. He's not even accurate to speak to no kids. Artic he not even articulate to speak to no kids. Stop going around shit and say who, man. Cut it out, homeboy. That's how you DC niggas do? <laughs> Stop going around shit and say who, nigga. Use your fucking brain, nigga. Ding, 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 ding. Use your brain. That's all I can say, dog. That's how you DC niggas do? Ray and crew were locked up at 89. Okay. And early 89 is what he say. Okay. Rich got killed in December. Nothing to do with D.C. It wasn't nothing to do with D.C. Okay. Okay. Who is Inga, nigga? <laughs> and Eric, you know me and you peeps. Who is Inga? Somebody tell me who Inga is and connect them dots. Connect the dots. Somebody tell me who Inga is and connect them dots. Somebody put that in the comments. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Do you know Mr. Lesher? Eric Lesher, do you know who Inga is? I should have brought some more weed down here, man. I'm about to hit this blunt too, man. You niggas got me fucked up, man. What you say, J20? What you say, J20? You right and wrong, J20. You right and wrong, J20. How about that? You right and wrong, J20. Ding, 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 ding. <clears throat> Let me see. We got one. You right, but take me deeper into that, Domeo. Can you take me deeper into that statement? Who does she belong to? Not belong to. Who is courting her? <laughs> Ain't that what the old school saying? Who is courting that girl? Huh? Y'all tell me that. If you know, you know. You don't, you don't. Who is courting that girl? Mr. Savvy J25, I appreciate you, homeboy. 
Word up. J20, I done told you, you right in wrong. I done told you, you right in wrong, homie. Somebody know. Somebody know, put it in the comments, man. Who's Inga, man? Who's Inga associated with, man? Who's courting that girl? Ding, 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 ding. There we go. Frey was messing with, with anger. <laughs> that was Frey girl, right, at one point? From what I understood, at least, speculation is. And from what my man said, that was the reason that the hit was coming down. It was because of anger. And Rich was fucking with his girl or something like that. You feel me? Uh, when Rich came to D.C., evidently he was fucking with anger. You know what I'm saying? And Poe was fucking with who he was fucking with. You dig what I'm talking about? And word got back to Frey. And he didn't like that shit. This nigga also told me Frey never took no dope from Al Poe. Real 100 shit. Frey didn't take nothing from Al Poe. You know what I'm saying? That's what he told me. And he stamped in D.C. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Domeo say, ah... Ah, now I get it. Yeah, homeboy, put the, you got to connect the dots, homie. You got to connect the dots, homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, me and him had a very in-depth conversation about D.C. history. He told me some shit. You know what I'm saying? Some shit. He told me they missed Poe by seconds. He said Poe was playing basketball with him and beat him in a one-on-one -on -one game and went inside the pool hall. Now, if you know, you know. Where was the where could they have been playing basketball at? And Pope beat him in a game of one-on-one -on -one and went inside of a pool hall right away. Put that in the comments, dog. Oh, what is what are you guys talking about, man? Run with me, man. Walk with me. I'm just saying, dog. Huh? Huh? All right, you said that to say what, Mr. Lesher? You said that to say what, Mr. Lesher? Let me put homie back up there. Ah, <laughs> yeah. He still got that link, too. I know he watching this, man. You can pop back in anytime you want to, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Janelle Steph said, Bing Roll. Let me get on homeboy, man. Uh, 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 let me get on home, boy, real quick, Mr. Stuff. He say, uh, Frey and Inga didn't happen till a few years later. Well, dig this here, homie. I'm telling you what, according to this man that you just saw on the screen a few moments ago, has a book called The Black Claw. And this is the information that is going to be in his book. I'm not telling you this is the gospel. I'm telling you, straight like that, he said that that's why the hit came down. He said it was off of anger, basically, because Rich was coming down there poking anger or whatnot, and word got back to him, and that was Pope, man, basically, and he said they was playing basketball, and Pope beat him, 
and they went in, Pope went into the pool hall to clean up and play pool and shit. And some niggas rolled up that was Poe, I mean phrase people, and asked where that nigga Poe at. And he said he was standing there with a nigga named Block. <laughs> I'm telling you, he said he was there. He he said he was there. You know what I'm saying? And the nigga crushed it and said, no, y'all can't do that. That's my man. And he said, those niggas, particular niggas said, fuck what you talking about. You know what it is. Talk to Frey. You know what I'm saying? If you want to squash, you got to talk to Frey, but they're going to do what they're going to do, what they came to do. But Poe was in the building behind. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what he's telling me. Shoot your shot, pool hall on Benning Road, Northeast. Well, that's all I can say, homie. You know what I'm saying? You judge for yourself, man. You know what I'm saying? He had some wonderful stories, not, no lie. Like I said, I talked to the dude for four hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before on Super Bowl Sunday, before the Super Bowl. He is stamped and was stamped, still is stamped in DC Prime. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and then too, aside from that, let me say this too. Aside from the fact that we had that conversation and shit, he said he wanted to clear up that booty shit, man. DC ain't on booty. Everybody talking about DC on booty and da 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 And then it's, it's you and the transsexual in your paperwork. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That shit is crazy as hell, don't you think? I'm just saying, dog. That's hella coincidental and crazy for me, man. Something ain't adding up, champ, like I told you. Where's paradise at? Somebody tell me where paradise at. What paradise got to do with it, man? What paradise got to do with it, man? What about this? The nigga told me, okay, what about this? If you from D.C., you know, you know. The nigga told me that Big Head Gary's worker, he, Big Head Gary had a worker named Biggie. And that he was robbed by Michael Jackson. Miss Steph said Paradise is also in Northeast. He said Big Head Gary. He had a motherfucking worker named Biggie. And that he was robbed by Michael Jackson and ran out the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What you know about that? He also told me that the Gary shit is true. Gary did intend to rob Poe. He did, in fact, intend to rob and, and murder Poe and leave him in a neighborhood where another motherfucker would would have got the blame for it. You feel me? Real 100 shit. He said it's all in his book. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, dog. I'm just saying, dog. He said he writing a tell-all. <laughs> Eric Lesher say facts. What's facts, man, huh? Oh, he said, but big ones. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Say so you mentioned Block. He's from Paradise and Mayfair. Okay, he told me he was standing there with a nigga named Block. You feel me? Paradise has something to do with that. So I wasn't going to call it at the street or where they was at or nothing like that. But he said uh, he was standing there with a nigga named Block when the hitters pulled up the hit, asking where Poet, where Poet. And he said the nigga told him, what y'all want with Poet? And he was like, nigga, you know what's up? The hitter said, nigga, you know what's up? 
And he said, nigga, block squash your shit like, no, nigga. That ain't going down, nigga. That's my man, nigga. That ain't going down like that, y'all chill. And he said, the hitters told him, nigga, you know what it is, nigga. Holler at Frey if you want that shit to the da 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 You know what I'm saying? To stop, or if you want to stop the whatever. You did. I mean, shit, I ain't trying to stand on what he's saying. I'm just standing on what he said to me. I can't stand on that shit as fact. I ain't from DC. That's why I keep saying if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Say Biggums word, word. I'm gonna give you a rundown of motherfuckers he told me he was qualified to speak on. So you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna give you a rundown because you know everybody I speak to, I ask them what they willing to speak about. Is it anything you willing to speak about? Anything you unwilling to speak about? Any route you don't want to go? Anyway, he told me it was open game. You know what I'm saying? He said he was qualified to speak on Rich Porter, Alpo, Demisio, Frey. Rayful, Michael Jackson, Shorty Pop, Sean Branch, Wayne Perry, Kurt Bone, Fat Rodney, Coco, uh, uh, and a few other niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up and down, dog. Straight up and down. Had had I waited to the end of the interview because I contemplated letting him get off and tell them wonderful stories that he told me. You know what I'm saying? But. I couldn't get past the predatory shit that I saw. Like I say, and then the issue of what you do is how you do it. And that shit seemed like some predatory shit. You feel me? And that ain't something I can stand on. It don't matter who you doing it to. You doing it to a man or a woman. I still can't stand on no sexual predatory shit. Period. And that's the way it read to me. That's why I told him the way it was given to me was one way. And the way I read it was another one. I want to hear how you going to say it. You know what I mean? He say, okay, Block said it, not him. I thought SW told the hitters to fall back. There you go. Eric Lester say, just because you met him at Go-Go? <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, dog. I'm just saying, dog. You say laughing my ass off. He had no relationship with Frey or Rodney. According to him, he did, though. According to him, he did, though. Real 100 shit. You know what I'm saying? Real 100 shit. <laughs> he got a real issue with Sean Branch. You know what I'm saying? I could take you in depth on it. But I ain't going to do that out of respect for somebody else, not him. You feel me? Out of respect for a woman, I'm not going to take you in depth with that. But he got a real bright, you know what I'm saying, with Sean Branch about some shit. And he wanted to say that. You feel me? It was a lot he wanted to get off. So I had to judge. I had to weigh myself. Like I say, shit, I got a moral compass of my own. There's certain shit I stand on, dog. You feel me? You said his fam is introducing Pop to Kurt Bone. His what? His fame? Is that what you're trying to say? His claim to fame is introducing Pop to Kurt Bone. Man, that nigga told me he lived with Kurt Bone for motherfucking two or three years, nigga. He said he lived with Kurt Bone for two or three years, nigga, when they was younger. So that's all I can say, dog. You know what I'm saying? He say, uh, 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 like I say, he said he made the call to get Wayne out of jail as well. He said they was on the yard together a lot when the doors cracked. You know what I'm saying? Say that then.
Marco Montana, I'm gonna repeat your comment, homeboy. But I'm gonna tell you something in the end. Now you telling me it ain't too many motherfuckers that don't know me, and too many motherfuckers that I don't know. I understand exactly what you're saying, dog. Now listen to me, dog. Can you hear me? <clears throat> Real shit, homie. Cause you the homie. Listen, homie. It's a nigga that you stamped. You that told me that that nigga that I just interviewed was stamped, nigga. Now you think about what I'm saying. I shouldn't have to say his name. You tell me who it is, dog. You feel me? I'm waiting for him to pop in the comments. He ain't been here yet. You feel me? But you tell me, dog. You should have to think about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, dog. And I ain't got no reason to lie to you. Just understand that, homie. I ain't got no reason to lie to you about shit, nigga. Why would I come up here and make up a fucking story, nigga? You feel me? It just is what it is, dog. Say Curtis Solid. He ain't gonna step to Sean Branch. I ain't say he was. I said he had a lot of shit to say about some shit that he had issues with regarding to Sean Branch and some shit that he said. And the only reason I won't say that shit is because I respect for a woman. You dig what I'm saying? It is what it is, dog. Marco, do what you do, homeboy. Do what you do, homeboy. Like I said, I can't stand on what he said as being the truth. I'm not standing here telling you that shit is the gospel. But what I'm telling you is he stand by a lot of solid motherfuckers, nigga. Put it like that. And I'm telling you, man to man, me to you, nigga. And I ain't never, nigga, have I ever told you anything wrong, nigga? Put that in the comments Why you talking with me, nigga. Have I ever disrespected you? Told you anything wrong, nigga. And I always kept it 100% real with you, nigga. I'm telling you, it's a nigga that you stamped, nigga, that told me that that man is stamped. Solid. And that's a fact, homeboy. Now cut it out with the bullshit. You can ask whoever you want after that. But I'm just telling you straight like that, homie. You feel me? Domeo say, oh, even get your lot straight, dude who's up there looking crazy. Savvy J215 say, I respect that. Oh, that's all. You feel me, homeboy? That's just as real as I can keep it with you, homie. That's as real as I can keep it with you, homie. I say this. Niggas on my Instagram didn't say shit when I put it up there, DC legend. DC street legend, da, 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 didn't nobody say he wasn't, and a bunch of DC niggas follow me. How about that shit? You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, one, I say one nigga said he wasn't. Didn't nobody else say he wasn't. <laughs> Straight up and down. Eric Lester say, we can get a store shit here. What you mean, homie? Miss Gilmore, Miss Gilmore been here. She got an interview. I interviewed Miss Gilmore. Well, I didn't even interview her. We had a conversation, man. That wasn't even an interview. That was a conversation, man. Excuse me, what you mean, though? If you mean something different? Let me put that up there, back up there. Mr. Savvy, J25, man. That's the comment of the night, man. I respect that, oh, because that's all I'm asking you to do. Like I say, I ain't standing in that nigga word saying it's the gospel at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you a bunch of niggas that other motherfucker said is the gospel. Said he the gospel. So what a nigga supposed to do?
My nigga Jay, Detroit Jay Money, say, I know who you talking about. I'm not going to say his name. No, there you go. Like I said, you feel me? No, I don't care who put it in the comments. I'm not going to say his name, though. You feel me? Y'all, if you figured it out, you figured it out. Ding, 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 ding. You feel me? But shout out to you, Detroit Jay Money home team. Nigga, Detroit versus everybody. You know how we rock, dog. And you know we don't rock like that, Jay. <laughs> you feel me? Niggas don't rock like that, nigga. You feel me? Niggas don't rock with rapists and sexual predators, predators and shit like that in Jacktown, dog. That ain't how I go, nigga. You know what I'm saying? When you go through that bubble, nigga, you will get recognized and realized, nigga. The COs let us know when the sexual predator type niggas come through, nigga. You feel me? <laughs> they gonna let us know. It's just crazy, dog. Let me see, man. It was a comment I was looking for. It was a comment I was looking for. He said, Storsha, yes, she will set it straight. Mr. Watkins said, to be honest, there's a lot of rubber stamps being passed out. But this the thing, though. This the thing, though, I'm going to say about that, Mr. Watkins. One or two of these stamps ain't broke. And that's my word, dog. That's my word, dog. You feel me? That's all I can give you, man to man, me to you, man. You feel me? Two of these stamps ain't rubber. A few of these, matter of fact, I ain't gonna even say two of them. A few of these stamps ain't rubber. Whether they was good or bad, they're not rubber stamps, homie. You feel me? My nigga Joy Road in the building, what it do? Shout out to Joy Road. My nigga say, what up, what's the deal, oh? My baby, this Joy Road in the building. Why you get a new page, homie? That shit crazy, man. That's my nigga from Joy Road, man. DVE, man, Detroit versus everybody. My people in the building. They know what I do. I'm the Megalodon out here, man. That's my shit for 2021, man, and beyond, man. I'm a fucking Klingon, man. I'm something you've never seen before, man. I'm an alien. I swear to God, I am, bro. I'm the biggest shark in the water, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm the biggest shark in the water out here, dog. You feel me? Niggas let me know every time I see them speaking and shit. They talk that crazy shit, man, and think the subliminals just got by me, man. I'm smarter than half these niggas, man. I'm smarter than half these niggas, dog. Damn, I just saw something. I skipped all the way past that shit. What'd he say? Uh, God's son say, man, Ray and Rich messed with her. From what I understand, and Frey was supposed to be Ray and, you know, you say Ray and Rich messed with her. No, from what I understand, Frey, Inga was messing with Frey. At, at a certain point, Inga was supposed to be Frey, girl. He said it's all in his book. I'm not telling you it's gospel. I'm telling you it's what he said. He said Inga and Frey was an item. And when Rich came into town, Rich and Inga was an item, and he got wind of that shit, and he didn't like it. You feel me? So if, I guess he felt some type of way, and he sent the boys to holler at them shit, at them, at them about that shit, and they missed him by seconds. He said the nigga beat him in basketball. He went in the pool hall. They hit his pull up. The nigga block tell him y'all can't do that because he already know what these particular niggas is on and what they coming to do. And them niggas told him, fuck that. Nigga, holler at Fred if you want to da 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 That's the way that went. He said, you getting people pay-per-view boxing, Lil Poe, and earn a dog. I heard that shit ain't going down. Paparazzi Poe training for a motherfucking pro fight. In June, June 11th or something, he's supposed to be fighting on the undercard, the Chavez and somebody fight. He said that King Ernest shit ain't going down. He said that nigga call, kept calling the black crime niggas, and he forced them to uh, cancel the fight for some reason. Real shit, man. I read that shit on Paparazzi Poe page. On his Instagram account. That, that's where that shit was at. Dudes from the 80s don't know the dudes from the millennium, just like the millennium kids don't know them. Dig that there. That's a great comment, Mr. 
dudes from the 80s don't know the dudes from the millennial, just like the millennials don't know them. Right, niggas up trying to act like I stamped in your shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because y'all don't want to claim it. No, take that nigga back, man. The black delegation say he belong to y'all, man. I am the chairman of the black delegation, man. The black delegation say he y'alls, man. He belong to y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't try to give him away now. Straight up. Y'all want us to take him back. Y'all gonna have to take the nigga from Empire that, that said that bullshit about them boys in Chicago. Y'all gonna have to take Donald Trump, um, Bill Clinton. <laughs> y'all gonna have to take a bunch of motherfuckers, man, if y'all want us to take him back, man. Miss Step say, Got to remember, a lot of those got, a lot of those got locked up in there, and a lot of time, the only way they crossed paths was jail. Word, and that's what he, that's what he said about as far as uh his relationship or him knowing Wayne. He said that's the only he didn't know him in the streets. He knew him from jail. Exactly. Morris Howard said, did I miss the interview yet? Yeah, interview in the beginning, man. Go check it out, man. Uh, I'm about to block you because I know who you is. I know who you is. Uh, uh, I ain't even gonna recognize you, nigga. You just about to get blocked because you's a pussy, nigga. Your bitch ass, nigga. Until you bring your whole ass in here with your real name, nigga, you will not get recognized on my shit. Flat out, nigga. You know I know who you is, dog. You too stupid. Dumbass nigga, ah ha! Don't nobody even know you said no dumb shit, ah ha! <laughs> That's why you mad. That, that man, these niggas be mad as shit, man. Fuck these niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? My nigga Joy Rose said I lost my other page. I don't know. I gotta stay stay tuned in. Which you were, homie. I appreciate you tuning in, dog. Alfonso, why would you say that? Why would you say that, Mr. Claiborne? Was that Claiborne? Alfonso Claiborne. Is Sean Branch going to interview with you? I can't give you an answer on that, homeboy. It's odd that you said that because on Instagram just today, I added Mr. Branch and I asked him for an interview for me in public. I added him. You can check my shit out at Up for Debate TV 1 on Instagram. Formerly in public, I asked him for an interview. So we'll see what happens with that, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? For some reason, like I said, man, for some reason, people think, or I ain't even gonna say people think, I'm gonna say people are intimidated by other people. I am not. I'm just gonna say that, dog. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't a knock on nobody. I'm just saying I'm not intimidated by nobody, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to, to debate all of the information that I've presented about anybody that I've presented it about with them. You dig where I'm coming from, homeboy? So I don't know if he'll interview with me or not, man, but that's sure it's gonna be fire. If he do tune in, nigga, CNN, it's gonna be fire, nigga. <laughs> Just know that, you dig? Mr. Porter say every day, every day, nigga. Woo! You know about it. What you know about that? Every day, dog. Every day around this motherfucker, nigga. You feel me? Uh, Mr. Smith say, had a Detroit girl who stayed on Mansfield and Seven Mile. What hood is that, bro? Well, you shouted it out. <laughs> well, you said it right there, homeboy. 
You know what I'm saying? She from Seven Mile. Say you wild, old man. I just be trying to keep it as real as possible at all times, man. Straight up, dog. I, that's the only thing I try to do is just keep it as real as possible at all times, man. Otherwise, you faking, nigga. You plan to be faking too, nigga, because you ain't trying to keep it real. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That, that's all I'm saying. Ms. Gilmore has joined the chat. Hello, Ms. Gilmore. Somebody was calling for you. Somebody was acting like they had your number, about to call you up and say some things and tune in and everything else. I said, well, get on the phone in with your bad ass. Nigga, you bad. Get on the phone in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They exchanging pleasantries. Let me put that across the screen. Okay, somebody knows somebody. Everybody, everybody. Everybody know everybody. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Mr. Mr. Claiborne says, yeah, I saw that, so I thought he might have got back with you. No, not as of yet, homie. He has not responded as of yet. Keep your fingers crossed, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Keep your fingers crossed, homeboy. I just know it's gonna be fire. That's all I can say about it, dog. Because, see, the way I do shit, I don't want to ask the questions everybody asks. I got a different set of questions for niggas. We might talk about what you talked about with who you talked about with it, but it ain't going to be the same shit you talked about with that individual. It'll be what you said and what I know or what I might know or what I understand coming from a different direction. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, shit, <clears throat> it's just different, dog. Joy Rose say he not going to do it. Oh, you too hip for Sean Branch. He might, dog. He might, dog. You got to talk. You got to speak it into existence. That's why I put it in air early. You feel me? You got to speak it into existence, dog. Somebody else added him in the comments. Like, man, the world want to see this interview, man. The streets want to see this. And this and that and the other. So I have enough people at him. Y'all going off for of Debate TV 1. You know what I'm saying? Add up for Debate TV 1 on Instagram, man. Go into that picture I posted of him where I formally asked for an interview with him and add him and say you want the interview, man. Ask him if he's going to do the interview. You know what I'm saying? I, hey. Mr. Savvy J215 say, oh, I need a wrench, beloved. Dig this here, man. Dig this here, man. This is Wakanda. I'm protected by women, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, it ain't a knock on niggas because, you know, there's a few good men out there. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, 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 only women get wrenches on my channel, homeboy. That's just the way I'm built, man. I don't trust no nigga, whether he's friend or foe, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way it goes, man. And you a cool nigga, man, but it's just what I stand on, dog. I got two male, I think I got two male, two male moderators, man. But them my day one niggas, man. Them niggas didn't believe in me since I started this shit. And everybody did <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But other than them two individuals, them two males, they all women, man. You feel me? And they day ones. Shit, the women is day ones, too. Way before a nigga got the double-digit subscribers. Nigga, I'm talking about when I still had two, three hundred. These is people that you can see in the comments, dog. So your whole approach right, your whole approach tight, beloved. I appreciate it, homie. Real talk, man, respect. I appreciate that, dog. You feel me? And I'm glad you said that because somebody told me that that was your big homie. 
<laughs> How about that? I'm glad that popped across the screen. My big homie not going to do that interview. I know that for sure. But I can ask him for you. Somebody told me you was planted here, nigga, to discredit Taco Montana. How about that? Let's talk about that, Mr. My, Mr. Marco Montana. Somebody told me you was planted on me to discredit my interview with Taco Montana. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to keep it real, homeboy. What about that? And they said you was planted by your big homie. Just like, just like you said across the screen, my big homie not going to do that interview. That's what they said. That's his big homie. That nigga planted him there to discredit Taco interview. You fell for the, the bullshit. Da -da 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 -da. Had me pissed off for quite some time, too, about the state. But I said, you know what? This is up for debate TV, and it's two sides to every story. So I'm still going to let that man tell his side of the story. I said, if people know what they know, they ain't going to let it ride if they ain't going to let it ride. You dig what I'm talking about? And that's real 100 shit, nigga. You feel me? No lie. No cap, nigga. My niggas say, I understand, beloved, ain't nothing like ladies holding you down. That's a fact. Shout out to my wife. I love you. She might be watching this, man. I ain't hey, 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 baby, you know I love you. You the queen of everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, though. No. You feel me? These is my people, though, that's holding me down, baby. You feel me? Because a nigga got to go to bed tonight, and I want to sleep comfortably. Nigga don't want to have to sleep while I'm doing this interview from and shit. You know what I'm saying? That'd be fucked up, wouldn't it? You feel me? Uh, my nigga from Joy Rose say, okay, <laughs> let's talk about it, Marco. You feel me? Let's talk about it, homie. Mr. Watkins say, oh, just know I stand with you, homie. Respect. I appreciate that. You feel me? Respect, homie. Real, that's real 100 shit, man. You feel me? Like I say, nigga, I'm just trying to keep it 100% real, 100% of the time, man, or oh, I'm fake. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of niggas out here faking, dog. You feel me? Sean Branch comes off as an arrogant SOB. <laughs> I can dig that. You know what I'm saying? I can dig that. Word up, my nigga Joy Rose say, my nigga, oh, that's how you play it? I keep women on my side too. In this day and time, they the most loyal. They been the most loyal, dog. <laughs> they been the most loyal, dog. I ain't gonna front, you know what I'm saying? They, the, I ain't gonna front, dog. You know what I'm saying? The most loyalty I ever received in my life came from a woman. Nigga, if it wasn't for a woman, nigga, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. And I ain't talking about my mother. Keep that in mind, because my mother gave birth to me. I'm not talking about my mama, but if it wasn't for a woman, man, we wouldn't be having this conversation right the fuck now, man. You did what I'm talking about? Say, get him back on there. Oh, remember you did an interview with dude? Yeah, I remember I did an interview with dude. I know who he is. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly who he is, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said oh, he ain't came back with a statement yet. I ain't seen nothing from him. I've been looking for it. He said, that's his big homie. Well, my big homie told me he was planning on me to discredit Taco Montana. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When Taco said he ran Montana and this and that and the other, after Sean Brett said how he didn't run it and this and that and the other, I heard he was planning on me by Sean Branch to say that his father ran Montana. You dig what I'm saying? <clears throat> now that is what it is, dog. Miss Step said, hello, we are the most loyal. <laughs> Word up. Word up. 
Hey, let's just say good stuff. Oh, no, I appreciate you, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, man, I get a little loud from time to time. I get emotional, so motherfucker feel me, man. But never am I trying to belittle nobody in my audience unless I'm, you know, sometimes I do go at niggas head. But, you know, never am I trying to do that, man. You feel me? That ain't what it is, man. I just be one motherfuckers to feel me, though. Like, y'all niggas be saying some shit sometimes. I'm like, man, if you only knew. Because some of my people's sources, man, that's why I be saying, if you only knew who these niggas would stand by, you niggas wouldn't be <laughs> saying the shit that y'all saying. But I understand, though. You feel me? My nigga Joy Rose say, get on that screen, Marco. Somebody had in here, Norm and Tribble ran Montana. Dig that. Ask Marco how is Norm. That's his uncle, ain't it? Mr. Lesher said, I'm having a drinking party with a store. So dig that there, man. As we speak. There go, Mr. Montana. What up, though, nigga? What you say? First off, I don't know Taco. Really? You don't know Taco? Come on, man. Don't say nothing. That, don't say nothing to where I can make you stick your foot in your mouth, homeboy. I'm just saying. Now, before I read the rest of this, let me take that shit off the screen, man. Let me go back to some other shit. Boop. Let me take that shit off the screen, man. Let me take that off the screen. Please don't stick your foot in your mouth, man, because I call a spade a spade, and it ain't going to be about nothing but that. It's going to be about calling that spade a spade. And the first line I read was you telling me that you don't know Taco Montana, huh? I'm not even going to entertain that. Because I ain't going to entertain that, dog. Miss Gilmore said, yes, me and Eric Lesher. All right, that's what's happening, man. What up, dog? How y'all be? I appreciate y'all rocking. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all rocking, dog. Man, I ain't even about to go in that back and forth shit with you, nigga. Man, recognize man. Ain't that some DC shit? Let me pop you on the screen. I ain't about to get into no back and forth with you, homie. Nigga, you got my number. Call me. That's how I'm rocking, nigga. You got my number. Call me, nigga. I ain't about to back and forth with you, dog. Man, recognize man. Nigga, it's a real nigga standing in your face. I said what I said, homie. It's gonna be that. You feel me? Call me, nigga. DM me, nigga. Shit, it is what it is, dog. But I ain't with the back and forth in homeboy. Straight up and down. Because see, that, that shit leads to disrespect and shit. You dig where I'm coming from? And that's why I'm trying. That's why I didn't read them comments. You feel me? That shit lead to disrespect, homeboy. And I had you as a guest on my channel. Call me, nigga. And we can discuss whatever you want to. Put it like that. But I ain't about to do the back and forth, from, dog. Miss Step say, I'm not from Montana. What she say? Damn, that shit went away. She said, I'm not from Montana, but at least I've heard of Taco and his name was kicking back in the day. Dig that there. And that's what I know. <laughs> I know that. Th thank you, Miss Step. You clearing up, you, you connecting a lot of dots and clearing up a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Mr. Lester says, Norm and Trib ran Montana. Let me say that. Mr. Lester says, Norm and Trib ran Montana, then Taco. Okay. That's what I'm saying. He says, uh, uh, Trib and Norm ran Woolwich. Okay. Then Taco and then Trib and Norm ran Woolwich. Okay.
No, that was Anthony Clayton that said Trib and Norm ran Woodridge. Anthony Clayton, let me put that up there. Trib and Norm ran Woodridge. That's what he said. Now, is Woodridge part of Montana? Y'all know I ain't from the town. Because Eric Lesnar just said that Trib and, ran, Trib and Norm ran Montana. So that, is that the same shit? You feel me? I'm going to say this, Joy Rowe, my nigga, you say, let me read your comments. You say, I don't remember Taco saying he ran Montana. He said he got money out there. Uh, in fact, he wasn't from there. He just grew up there and got his money. Man, Taco said when he came home, he put New York niggas off the block. And New York niggas verified that. Well, a New York nigga that was there verified that to me. You know what I'm saying? Now that say something, don't. That nigga came home and told niggas they can't hustle like that. You feel me? I guess he want, he want me to know y'all. He called, nigga, you know I'm live. Why would you be calling me while I'm live, nigga? He want y'all to know he calling me. I guess this Marco Montana calling me and shit. I ain't gonna show the number, that'd be petty. You feel me? But yeah, my phone just rang. That was him. I guess that was him. It was y'all area code and shit. Nigga, I'm, I'll let you nigga shit. You act like I was saying you were scared to call me, nigga. I just was saying I ain't about to back and forth with you over no shit in these comments, nigga, when you got my number and can call me about it, dog. That don't make sense. Unless you're trying to make a point of some sort. You feel me? And if that's the case, then you welcome back on the show. Like my man Joy Rose say, nigga, you can click a link immediately and pop back on the screen. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can invite a guest right, right quick. Beep. All right. Nah, shit. Where I put that shit up? Where I put that shit up? You say answer O, answer O. My nigga Joy Rowe want me to pick up the phone for that nigga. Nah, man, it ain't nah. See, I'm not that type of nigga, nigga. That's some old gully TV shit. You feel me? That's a private conversation. You dig? That's why I asked him what he was trying to accomplish. Now, if I picked up the phone and had him on speakerphone and went to yelling back and forth with him, I ain't no better than him trying to go through the comments when I got this nigga number. That ain't a put. I mean, you, like I said, nigga, if you want to holler at me, holler at me. You got my number, nigga. You feel me? Sean Branch played like he was the boss in Montana and everybody worked for him. Yeah, he, he did kind of do that on the, on the Queens flip show. You know what I'm saying? Eric Lesnar is, is laughing his ass off. Miss Step said, I didn't, I didn't even want to go around my tenor. It was off the chain. Dig that. Yeah, that, yeah, you see it. <laughs> you see it. You know what I'm saying? I'm here, man. I'm going to be here for another about five. I've been on this motherfucker over two hours, man. I appreciate everybody rocking with me and shit, man. It's been live as shit tonight, man. It's live as shit, man. I'm about to smoke some weed and chill out, man, and replay this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Miss Step says she love her some Trinidad. Nigga, I know you just called me two times, man. Replay the last five minutes of what I said, homeboy. Real talk, man. 
if I put you on the phone, I'm no better than trying to go back and forth with the comments with you, nigga. I knew that was you calling my phone. I told them you called my phone. I acknowledged you to the, that's what you wanted. Cause what you want some pub, nigga, you want, I mean, you feel me what? That's what it's starting to look like, man. You feel me like, like, you know I'm live, nigga. You were just watching me, nigga. I said, call me, nigga. You could have waited till I came off live and we could have we could have spoke, nigga. You feel me? But no, I'm not gonna pick the phone up and yell back and forth with you, homeboy, on live. Then we could have just we should just did it to the comments then. What the fuck, man? I'm him, not them, dog. I don't do it like them other niggas, dog. I'm him, not them, dog. You feel me? Remember that. You better bet that, dog. Facts, DMV. Facts, dog. And let's just say Roy and Cliff Cloud forever. Dig that there. Dig that there. My nigga Joy Rose say, get him on the screen. Get him on the screen, my baby. Hey. I'm, hey I, I told him he welcome, you feel me? He must have couldn't watch the broadcast and call at the same time because he act like he don't know that I said, y'all, I called, he called and shit. So he must have had to turn his phone off and call me. And then once he, I didn't answer and shit, he got back on his phone and shit. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, dog. <laughs> I'm just saying, nigga, use your room cool or something, dog. I, I mean, shit. Stream that, dog. Stream that, dog. Sexy Baby says, who is Puffy? Puffy is, or was, rest in peace to Puffy, was a trans transgender person from D.C. Puffy, Mimi, and Tracy. Everybody know them names. They're associated with Rayful and the Go-Go's and everything else. Mimi, Tracy, and Puffy. That's who Puffy is, a transgender individual that was from D.C. that that man shot in the face. Plain and simple, you know what I'm saying? And the paperwork, at least according to Puffy, says that he was basically a sexual predator, that when she, Puffy, refused to do a sexual act with or on him, he then shot her in the face or, you know, that's who Puffy is. And it's sadly enough, I heard a few years after that, she passed, not years even, a few months after that, she got sick and passed away. Mr. Lesher says, Miss Gilmore for president. <laughs> Grandson for president. That reminded me of that vine. Rest up the vine, man. Miss Step says, yep, new pop too. I'm a SC girl. Love him. I ain't no SC girl. Damn, I gotta be careful what I read, man. Y'all know what I meant. You know what I'm saying. All right, y'all, it's been real, man. I'm out this motherfucker, man. I was on hold. Up for debate TV, and you already know who it is, my baby. When you see what you see, nigga. God bless the real ones, dog. Every motherfucking day, nigga.